What's up, man? It's your boy Moon Dog Three Seven Three Two from the Moon Dog Three Seven Three Two Show on YouTube. Hey, man, watch the show, like the show, share, subscribe, and comment. Also, the dot com and the podcast with me and Tiffany DJ. All right, with that being said, man, let me hit y'all off. You know, I had to get back to doing what I do, right? Tell stories of how I grew up, how they made me to the person I am today, with the people, situations, and stuff that happened, right? So this right here is <laughs> all right. It's one of my homeboys, right? We go way back. We went to church together. We went to school together. Things of that nature, man. We used to hang, we used to hang out tough together, right? So he used to play football. Man, he used man, him used to hoop together in uh, a little park and things like that. Park, you know what I'm saying? They say I said it down here in uh, Houston. Also, man, my, my homeboy, he had like a, a little bucket, man, a little, a little round bucket, as we would call it, a little car, right? But then he upgraded from that to like a bigger car, right? So back in those days, that's my friends. So they used to come over to the house. We'd be playing cutthroat, card game, playing dominoes, playing the video games, talking noise, listening to music, Wu-Tang Clan, second album in particular, right? So this day, man, him, him, uh, he and his brother came over to the house. You know, we just over there kicking the man, talking and tripping and stuff like that. And they're like, hey, man, come on, man. They said, we finna go. I was like, let's, let's let me roll with you. They said, come on, get, you know, turn a couple blocks or whatever, you know what I'm saying? See what's out. See what's popping. I'm like, shit, all right, let's go. You know what I'm saying? I'm chilling. I wasn't doing nothing anyway, but, you know, we're just kicking it. And then, you know, they pull up. And then they had the windows rolled up too, right? Turn the car off because, you know, doing what they was about to do, you can't really have the lights on. So we, we pulled off in the park, Shady Grove Park, AKA Anzie Moore Park. If y'all know Anzie Moore, y'all don't know Anzie Moore, look him up, you'll learn something. So they start, my boy come out of his pocket with the, with, the, with the cigar, I don't partake, and then partake at the time as well. So, you know, damn, get it. Break they break they joint open, eh. throw that outside. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get 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 go in the pocket again. Get the bag. Mm. Make sure it's evenly distributed. Bam, 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 bam. Put the lighter to it. Make sure it's you know, a little bit dry or drier. Let his brother inspect. It. Brother was all good with it. I'm in the back seat. They're in the front seat. I forget I had asthma. Still got it. So bam, my homeboy in the drive seat, he lighted up. Poof. Now the smoke is in the in the car. And they puff. They they puffing hard. Pass to his to his brother. Bam, his home his brother, he puffing hard. Next thing you know, it's looking like a chimney up in there. You know what I'm saying? It's so much smoke up in that joint. And the first, I ain't had no water with me or nothing, right? So after them first, he hit and he hit and they were passing back. And I'm looking like, this ain't no regular. You know what I'm saying? This right here. This ain't no regular. This ain't no mid grade. We talking about the 90s, though. This ain't no redhead. This ain't no chocolate tie. This something else, right? And then my eyes start squinting, man. I'm looking like, it ain't looking good for me in there. And I'm... <laughs> I'm in the back seat. Smoke about to choke me out, right? Smoke is like, smoke had a choke hole on me. Or for those of you that know the character from uh, Mortal Kombat, smoke, right? So I'm looking like, I gotta, I gotta, the doors are locked. I'm trying to get out. I'm like, I gotta get out of here before I pass out, right? And then my homeboy like, hey man, what you doing, man? Man, relax. I said, man, I need some air. So I, you know, I rolled a one. We talking about the night. We rolled them. We had a little. We had the little rolling jumps, right? He said, "Hey, man, let all the smoke out." I said, "Man, I can't breathe." He said, "Man, the smoke go help." <laughs> he said, "Roll the window back up." I'm like, "Man, I'm here hostage." So I rolled the window back up, right? All the time, I'm in a, I'm in the back seat. I'm in the back seat trying to breathe, man. And then his brother looked back like, "Man, you good?" I'm like, no, man, not really. They said, man, you're going to be all right. So I'm like, man, I am being here hostage. This smoke, a.k.a. more to come back, is about to finish me with this brutality. I'm up here 
pounding my chest, man. I'm up in there. I'm trying to find a, a way. I'm trying to, <laughs> trying a way to escape. <laughs> and, it gets, and it gets kept on puffing. It gets kept on passing, man. And I, and I don't know what kind of uh, vegetation that they placed for in that uh, particular situation. But that jump was strong. I'm talking about it was past anything I've ever walked past. You know what I'm saying? That jump was like, you know how you walk through like a, a cloud or it's a fog? Nah, this gym right here was like a, a brick wall. And when I was trying to get up out that gym, that gym was like, hit me in the chest. Master Killer had this this little this little bar. Who could withstand the astonishing, punishing stings to the sternum? And I could feel every one of them. That stuff was the real deal. Hey man, with that being said, man, remember I told y'all? This stuff actually happens. It did. I would call my homeboy name, but he know who it is. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I'm going to hit him up. I'm going to text him and see if he remembered. With that being said, man, I'm out. <laughs>